Hi, so I've got a lot of requests um, on the actual policy procedure, um, how to do the apron. Um, it's basically going to be the opposite of the last video I did. The last video was just to, so, just to show someone how to put it on for a Halloween costume, but this is the actual policy way, um, which doing it for 12 years one way and then having to switch it is kind of difficult. So basically put it around your waist. Now this is my left side. It's gonna be your right, but my left side. And um, before I did this one and then the right over, but this is gonna be the other way. So my right side in, then my left side in. Okay. Then you're gonna go into my left side, then in to my right side. Now again, make your hand away from it. You don't wanna, I've seen people poke the pin through the hand, so like that, and push through, okay? Then back out to the right side. Now, here's the left side again, and push it through, and clip, okay? And on the last video, it was kind of like a V, but we don't want any sagging. So we're gonna pull this taut so it's even and turn it and pull down. We'll pull the inside down first. I'm using this color technique so you can focus on the apron, but I don't know if it's working too well. Okay, so it's tight and You see that? That's even there and not at a V like the last video. So. And this will help in the future when you do your apron to use existing holes. Sorry, to use existing holes. So, um, yeah, that's basically it. It's basically just the opposite way of the way I did the last video. On the left side first. You'll get it down really quick um, the more you do it. it. No one expects you to be fast in the beginning, especially dealing with a sharp pin, you know? Um, it's better to take your time and look right rather than either hurt yourself or not have it look correct because you're gonna stand out from the rest of the people and we're all wearing the same uniform, so yeah. Um, you'll you'll be noticed and also uh, one of the things that a lot of the new hires do is they usually wear the apron a little bit high um, that's kind of obvious that you're new to so you want it lower because you're going to be uh, it's mainly to you know use as an apron not as a full covering of your shirt you know we want that white shirt to be seen and then the apron down here to use for your hands and things like that so all right, I hope this helps. Um, if you have any other questions, let me know and I'll try and show the actual policy way versus, you know, just the way that I was showing people for Halloween costume videos. It's two different ways, but the policy way does not change. Uh, they like consistency and to do the same things, you know, no matter what store you're at, you're gonna see the same way uh, things are done. And um, yeah, that's why there's policy versus just putting on an apron, just how I did. Like there, there's a way they want it done um, at every store. So the way, again, that I put in the last video is not the actual policy way. That's just the way I do it because I'm right-handed and that's the way I learned it, it's easier. So thank you and give me a thumbs up, please, thanks.